Godlike Esports absolutely decimated Tribe Gaming with Abis dropping 51 kills at standoff hardpoint in Game 1 from Round 5 of the Swiss stage. Here we are, Tribe and Godlike fighting for one of those final positions. We go into hardpoint and these teams will clash for the first time in just a second here. And so it begins, ladies and gentlemen, Tribe Gaming versus Godlike, the last match of one of these two teams on this tournament. Only eight can move forward, only one of these two will be able to do so here. Washi from the top side, Grannis will try to get inside of the heel. Learn was the only one alive there and it's Emmy to take him down, immediately regaining control as they get back inside of P1. Avis wanting to go for the retake, will go on his own as he begins to get now the backup from his allies. There's gonna be one, two, and near three kills for Avis as he gets also the assistance. Great push to get one more time that control in their favor. And let me tell you, Mod, the side of Godlike are looking really, really good. The way that they are all pushing at the same time is becoming a bit difficult on this first kill. So let's see what happens on the next one because they have already rotated. Yeah, Godlike absolutely following the best tactic possible in breaking a point. You see them consistently breaking with two, three, or four players, which makes it very difficult to hold off. Godlike, as much as they had success on that first point, they were also able to rotate to P2 and lock P2 down as well. Very strong start for Godlike here on this hard point, and it's going to take quite a bit of a shift here for Tribe to pick up some momentum and be able to successfully break these. But consistently, we just saw it happen again. A Tribe player comes in and attempted the break with one, and that's simply not gonna work. Unless Abiz does it with the claw, gets a triple and locks down the point solo. The rare instance where it works because of an outstanding play, but even then he loses the point pretty quickly. So that, that break with one strategy might get you to the point faster, but we've seen all day long it is not nearly as successful as breaking with two or three. And now we have Tribe in control of this hard point, starting to tick up the time, but still not enough to even out this score. And Abiz is already rotated to the next point, getting kills and locking this down. Godlike, excellent on the rotations right now. That's right, let's see one more time. Point number three, once again, they are there first. Inside of the hill, there's gonna be a list with already 21 scratch at 22 kills in his name. Looking for some more, he knows that they're gonna be pushing quite soon. He thinks it's gonna be the staircase, and he's right, gets that knock onto Revival immediately, turns around, has that hunter killer drone. Not gonna connect, but doesn't matter too much. A few extra gunshots onto the opponent. Not gonna be a kill, but it is an assistance, and he jumps out the window. He does not show a care in the the world his allies are gonna help him from the inside out and there's just no window of opportunity for the side of tribe they are trying for all entries there are here on point number three but none of them is working there's revival trying to get through finally could fight it off but there it is another kill this time for abyss as he got knocked by that war machine and it's still going to be in favor of godlike and once again, I don't know how they managed to do this, but they are always not only in control of the hill, but also in the in the next one as well. Yeah, they've got this split strategy where they're able to leave one or two behind on the hill and rotate early. And because they're dominating this defense of the hill each time, they're able to maintain that strategy. Tribe has to stop that rotation or has to get a break earlier to flip the script on them. They're finally contesting here early on a point, but I mean, prevail with this R9 holding it down and so Tribe they're gonna need to get an early break they're gonna need to stop that early rotation in order to have a chance here because Godlike has chosen their strategy and it is working out in their favor as they near a 100 point margin in this hard point early in the game. Yeah, 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 Godlike dominating the opponents and continuing to do so. There's still 25 seconds left and they don't want to let go of each and every single one of them. There's Band trying to get inside. 12 kills so far. Gonna go for the 13? No. Gonna get executed. Double kill there for Prevail. There's learned as well. Triple now for Prevail using that shotgun. Gonna be spotted by Envy, but still not gonna be enough. Less than 10 seconds left. And that is gonna be oh so sweet in favor of a Godlike team that definitely are playing Godlike indeed right now. We're moving back onto P1 reset and the damage is already dealt 120 points gap as we've only gone through four kills 
that only means that it can be coming any worse. I think it is. I definitely think that this is potentially going to go even more downhill for the side of Tribe. Look at the kills on Abiz right now. He is on 36 kills. He's more than double Tribe's highest kill count. This is a standout performance. And the reason for it is the, tra the strategy, right? Uh, the, the strategy that Godlike is putting in place right now is putting guys like Prevail and Abiz and Trunks in a position to get kills. We see Prevail there, R9 to the back. Could not have been an easier kill. And it's because of the way they are locking down these hard points, holding these angles and making it an extremely difficult task for the tribe team mm -hmm. to get a break. It seems like they're P1 specialists at this point. Yeah, and it's just getting more and more difficult to see. To point number two, there's gonna be Trunks and also inside of it, there's Aviz. Both have been the OVJs for the longest time and they don't get a double kill for Aviz. Gets executed by Band. Doesn't matter too much. Things are still well under their belt. Already onto 200 points. While the side of Trunks cannot even get to 50. Ladies and gentlemen, got like completely obliterating off of their own existence. The side of Tribe can't even understand what's going on completely destroyed the jabs coming from one place then the other the way that godlike is dominating is completely unmatched nothing can be done they are trying but there's still 30 seconds off of this scale and that could be the last nail in the coffin ladies and gentlemen india more so godlike are trying to take it now into the next level and as they are on their last opportunity to move to day two they are just not gonna allow absolutely no one to take that that away from them a bees with the 50 bomb up to this point. And let's be clear, we've seen some 50 bombs in this game. Ah, it's Rabalo. He's able to lock down the point, but prevail right there with the double on the R9. And he goes back. <laughs> and is unable to get that at the end. But this godlike team putting on a show as they close it out 250 to 41 in a dominant performance over Tribe. Insane. Completely, completely insane. We know how good these players are, but they don't cease to amaze me. Incredible performance there for godlike and you said a 51 kills to 12 51 kills to 12 over a four over a 4.0 kd for my man abyss then prevail 30 to 16